there are a lot of reasons why you're not getting clients and it could be because of how you're marketing how you're positioning what designs you're trying to sell your pricing a lot of it all indicates whether or not a client is actually going to book with you. You're not understanding why clients don't want to book with you and your services because you're doing everything right. You're listening to all my videos, you're implementing all the strategies, and there's still something that's off when it comes to clients booking you. Well, what if I told you that you could be doing everything right, but if you don't get your mental capacity around understanding money and what it does for you, then, you're never going to not only make money in your business, but you're not going to get clients who actually want to pay. So if you want to know what needs to go on on here in order to get those back to back clients, please keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. But before we dive in, I have a free workshop that I would love for you to be a part of. It really walks through step by step on how to get back to back clients and the strategies that you could implement now to get clients to chase you versus you chasing them. Because I know it can be such a struggle when it comes to getting clients for your event business. If you're interested, feel free to click the link down below. So a lot of people have DM'd me multiple times and asking like, why don't clients pay? Or I charge my worth, but people still don't want to pay my prices. Well, there's a book that I have been reading recently and I actually went live on my Instagram discussing the beliefs that keep you from making money in your business. And it's actually called You Are a Badass at Making Money, Master the Mindset of Wealth by Jen Sincerio, who is the author of You Are a Badass. If you're interested in purchasing this book, I'll definitely link it down below, but we're going to talk about some of the beliefs that keep you stuck with not generating money into your life. So the first limiting belief about money that tends to stop a lot of people, and a lot of people have heard this over and over again, and if you did, I want you to like this video down below. Okay, it is money doesn't grow on trees. Now let's break that apart. What does it actually mean when someone says money doesn't grow on trees? Well, I know I heard it growing up all of my life from multiple adults when I was a child. And it just meant that you want something, but you can't have it because money isn't just overflowing into our lives. Usually this belief indicates that there's not enough money or we don't have enough money to purchase whatever you want or what we want in general or what we desire. This also alludes to scarcity mindset. That's the biggest thing about saying money doesn't grow on trees. When an adult says this to a child, they're really speaking scarcity mindset beliefs into a child who absorbs everything around them. So if you heard this as a child, as I said before, if you heard any of these beliefs, feel free to like this video and let me know down below what is your experience with these beliefs or if there's something similar that you've heard as well because these are the beliefs that are stopping you from making money. Money doesn't have, it's not good, and it's not bad, it just is. It just follows whatever energy is matched to it. So the more money you have in your life, just alludes that how much of a belief you have in your life when it comes to money. If you're always worried about money or never having enough money to pay your bills, take your kids to a good school, buy that car, invest in inventory for your business, all of that adds up. But if you're constantly telling us like, oh, it doesn't grow on trees, therefore it eludes, you have to work harder. You just need to stop, to be honest. Instead of saying money doesn't grow on trees, you really need to start saying money comes abundantly into my life. Now, before you click out of this video, I know a lot of you are going to be like, okay, now we're speaking the woo-woo and the guru stuff and all these beliefs when it's not actually true. But actually it is. Because if you're a believer in money doesn't grow on trees, look at your bank account. Do you even look at your bank account? That's a whole nother video, but it's true. I'm around a lot of people in my own programs that I invest in because I know I want to be somewhere making millions of dollars, have run a multi-million dollar business. And I'm putting it out there because I want y'all to hold me accountable. But guess what? In order to get to that point, you need to think like a wealthy person. This is why the law of attraction is very real. This is why people who make millions and thousands and hundreds of dollars are able to sustain that because of the mindset shifts they went through in order to get there. 
You have to start saying things that bring abundance of money into your life now before it actually comes. That is the biggest secret that most people don't know. And this is the one thing that gets you from zero clients with zero money in your business to getting back to back clients, which is why I said after watching this video, watching that workshop will definitely be ideal because it will talk about like now we have the mindset shifts that are needed to make money. Now let's get more clients in the door. But if you don't work on this, you'll never, ever have the business that thrives when it comes to having more time to spend with your family or having being able to spend time with your kids and being able to have a team who designs for you and so that way you can take vacations with your family. These are all the things that money actually gives us. A great substitute on what to say that kind of cancels out that money doesn't grow on trees is money flows abundantly through me. There's an overflow of cash that constantly comes into my life. Right? Say that every day for a month and see what happens. Just just jot that down. Say a simple sentence as soon as you wake up right before you go to bed. And then watch the magic pour in. Watch that somebody gives you even $10, right? Or you find $20 in your pocket that you didn't even know was there. These are all things that you manifest when you think the right way. You have to think it, feel it, say it, and then let it go. Don't worry about how it will come, just know that it will. Don't worry about when it will come, just know that it will. And those are the things that will naturally change in your life. The next money limiting belief that people not only tend to tell you as an event designer, but that sometimes you believe it to be true. And it is you can't make money doing XYZ design. You can't make money doing a balloon design. You can't make money doing event decorating. You can't make money doing floral backdrops. These are things that automatically stop the flow of money coming into your life. Most of the time, we don't believe that ourselves until we get in front of people who are not willing to pay. And that's where we believe now, oh, if no one else wants to pay my prices, then can I actually make a business out of doing, you know, balloons, out of doing cakes, out of doing floral de decor, out of doing small petite parties? That's when it starts to kick in because the reason why you started your event business is because you know there's something special that not only you have to share with the world, but people are willing to pay for it. That's the whole point of the reason why you're starting this business. Right? I'm a true believer. You can do whatever you want to do in this world we call life. But do you believe it? That's the biggest culprit. It's not about watching videos and taking notes. It's do you truly believe you have something special to share where you can make money and you can have all the time and freedom to do and really build that generational wealth that you've wanted you know, since day one? probably before you even thought this was a business idea. The reason why we have to start with our why is because when someone tells you, you can't make money doing what you're doing, that weight of why, you know, that weight of like, this is why I'm doing it, will always push you past what someone else's limiting beliefs are. The ones who are actually telling you that you can't make money doing what you're doing are the very ones who you need the most support from. They're your guardians your sister your brother you know people you genuinely look up to in life but you have to understand this entrepreneurial journey that you're tackling on is not for the weak <laughs> it takes a lot of strength to sustain a business knowing that you have to fail in order to succeed so what they do is they're internalizing seeing you fail and they don't want you to do it so they're going to protect you with their own ego and their own understanding of money so that way you're safe. It still comes from a good place unless someone is really like intentionally trying to avoid you from being successful because they want you where you are and you know, that's a whole nother story but you probably should think about how many times you actually interact with that person. <laughs> no shade, tell your family not to come for me. <laughs> but your family means well, your friends mean well. But if they're not running a business, be careful who you take advice from. 
instead i keep a lot of people who are in the event business industry and or just running a business in general or getting started close because when i get into my own head which i still do just like you i get that push that is just like no justine you know you deserve everything you want and more my biggest theory is that god didn't put your vision into other people for a reason. When you can close your eyes and actually imagine where you want your business to go, it already is there for you. It's about you taking the steps to get there. So when someone says you can't make money doing X, Y, Z, you know, maybe say politely, well, thank you for your feedback, but I disagree. Or allow your success to do the talking. Stop sitting here basing your success on other people's opinions, other people's thoughts, and other people's feedback. Who cares? What do you want to do? Why do you want to do it? And then continue doing it because you deserve everything that you want and desire. You don't need permission to sit here and be successful. Here's the next limiting belief around money that's keeping you stuck from not getting those clients in the door. You have to work hard to make money. I'm going to get a lot of people who are going to fight me on this. <laughs> and I'm all for it. Okay, bring on the comments, right? Bring it on making money is not hard you don't have to work hard to make money it's actually something that was taught since you were young right you have to work hard to get success you have to go to school you gotta do all that if it's hard you're not supposed to be doing it why not do things that come easily for you i'm letting you know right now it is not hard to make money it's not hard to get clients it's not hard to put your designs out there and for people to pay you that is a limiting belief that keeps you stuck. I'm telling you right now. If you think it is hard, guess what's going to happen in your life? Making money will be a hard task for you to do. Now, some of you might say, but Justine, I ain't got no money coming in the door for my business. I'm at zero in my bank account. These clients don't wanna pay when I tell them my prices. What do you mean it's not hard? Well, let's discuss why is it hard? If your business is hard, you're probably not doing what you're naturally good at. That's the first thing, especially in business. Does it? Is it hard for you? Does it actually, or does it just challenge you every single time you do something new, but you still get it anyways? We confuse what is supposed to be a lesson and a challenge versus actually what's hard work. If things that you don't want to do, you procrastinate, you become a perfectionist. Those are the things that are hard because it doesn't come naturally to you. Okay, how do I make it easy? Tap into what you naturally do. What are you good at? And specialize in it. That's why I say people, stop doing entire events. That is hard. Unless you can delegate and you have people who are willing to work with you every single time, there should be no reason why you're doing an entire event. And then the next thing is money is not hard to make. Point blank, period. I have known designers who... We're getting one to two clients. And as soon as they believe that it's not that hard, more <laughs> clients come into the door. This is why I say y'all need to watch that workshop if you haven't done so already. Because it really taps into understanding the strategies, but you got to fix here. And that's how my clients were able to get back to back clients. That's how Leslie in this video right here, she was able to get five clients in a day. Because she constantly believed that it wasn't hard. Stop telling yourself these stories that are not true. Instead, switch the narrative. Say something along the lines was like, it is so easy to make money. I can't believe my business is making so much money. I am so grateful for every money and, and that comes into the door. Will you get challenged? Yes, but your mind doesn't like to change. That's why it's deemed as hard work. But making money is not hard. If you have money in your bank account, that's proof. If you had to work hard for that money, are you really doing what you're meant to do? Because if you weren't, it would come naturally easy. Stop being scared of making a lot of money and desiring that lifestyle that you deserve. You can't save the world, right? But you can definitely impact the world around you. And that's where it starts is know that money allows you to make choices. It allows you to create freedom for other people. It allows you to never have to worry about if someone gets sick in your family. It helps you build and give other people jobs so they can create and be in a business where they naturally flourish. That's what money does. Money creates opportunities. Money creates freedom. 
Money gives you everything you desire so you can give it back to those who need or want it. But just know you're worthy of every single ounce of money that comes into the door and more. Money doesn't change people. It actually brings out the truth of who they really are. When good people have money, good things happen to the world. If you like this video, I know we dive deep. <laughs> If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love you all. Continue to design your dreams into reality. Make the money you deserve because you deserve it all. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't 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 tell your mom or your aunt or your your grandma to watch this if they've taught you those limiting beliefs. Don't don't put your, put your headphones in. Don't. Please, don't come for me. <laughs>